Hello friends, welcome to Pharma Chem Insights. In today's video, we will see HPLC column polarity. The polarity of HPLC columns varies based on the type of stationary phase used. Understanding this polarity is crucial for selecting the appropriate column for separating compounds based on their polarity. So let's get started. So here is the list of different types of stationary phases used in HPLC column. These are arranged in decreasing order of polarity. So first is silica which is highly polar and it is used in normal phase HPLC. Second is amide which is high to moderately polar. Third is cyano. Fourth is diol. Fifth is amine. These all three are moderately polar. Sixth is phenyl which is less polar. Seventh is C8 that is octyne which is least polar. And the last eight is C18 octadecyl which is non-polar. These are arranged in decreasing order of polarity. Now let us see one by one each stationary phase. First is silica polarity. It is highly polar. Silica columns possess surface hydroxyl groups. You can see the structure which makes them highly polar. They are commonly used in normal phase chromatography for separating polar compounds. Second is amide column. Polarity is moderately to highly polar. Amide columns contain amide functional groups that can engage in hydrogen bonding providing unique selectivity for polar analytes. Next is cyano column. Polarity moderately polar. Cyano columns have cyano functional groups offering intermediate polarity. They can be used in both normal and reverse phase modes providing versatility in separation. Fourth is diol columns. Polarity it is moderately polar. Diol columns can diol groups. Di means two and all is for alcohol groups. You can see in the structure which offer moderate polarity and are suitable for separating polar analytes with reduced peak tailing. Fifth is amino column. Polarity it is moderately polar. Amino columns have amino functional groups providing moderate polarity. They are often used in hydrophilic interaction liquid chromatography for analyzing carbohydrates and other polar compounds. Sixth is phenyl column. Polarity it is less polar. Phenyl columns contain phenyl groups offering pi to pi interactions beneficial for aromatic compounds. They are less polar compared to the columns listed above. Seventh C8 that is octyl silane column. Polarity C8 columns are low polar. C8 columns have octyl silane groups providing low polarity. They are used in reverse phase chromatography for separating moderately non-polar compounds. It is C18 that is octadecyl silane column. Polarity it is least polar or non-polar. C18 columns possess octadecyl silane groups making them highly non-polar. They are widely used in reverse phase chromatography for separating non-polar to moderately polar compounds. Now let us summarize what we have learned. The polarity of HPLC column decreases from highly polar silica columns to highly non-polar C18 columns. The choice of column depends on the nature of the analytes and the desired separation. Silica, cyano and amino phases are often used in normal phase HPLC where the stationary phase is polar and the mobile phase is non-polar. Whereas C18, C8 and phenyl columns are used in reverse phase HPLC where the stationary phase is non-polar and the mobile phase is polar. Thank you. I hope you liked the video. If you found this video helpful, 
please like share and subscribe my videos and also show your support in the comment section if you want to suggest any topic related to hplc please write in the comment section once again thank you bye